Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, July 20th to the 21st Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Capricornies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cappies, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, Cappies, I'm going to grab a couple of cards here and then get a channeled message for you from Spirit. Don't forget to also watch my uh, UFO video. Yes. I had a sighting today. I was excited and it was in broad fucking daylight. Yes, on the highway. And it wasn't one, no, wasn't two, no, wasn't three. It was 10, about 10. Like I didn't sit there and count, but it was like a cluster. It had to be eight or 10 um, of tiny ones. Uh, all going right over the highway over my car like I mean this much above my car that's how close they came I had a crystal clear vision of these UFOs and they weren't drones no 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 I know what a drone looks like and they weren't drones they had no sound um, yeah they weren't drones and I know from Marfugel News, I don't know if you guys know who Marfugel is. Uh, I believe that's where I heard it from. There was sightings in Washington of these groups of, he called them drones, but I'm telling you right now, they were not drones. Um, these groups of drones going into a bigger like spaceship. It's almost like reporting back, right? So anyway, I asked Spirit why I saw these the, the these UFOs and why they're here so interesting information if you'd like to check that out did um, an oracle reading on that they told me to use the oracle and not the tarot so let me get you a um, message from spirit before we begin we have the two of pentacles the empress the ace of wands and the justice card and what's at the bottom of the deck the page of wands all right so let's see what spirit has for you capricorn Stay clear of those that are not on the same wavelength as you. And they said that you'll know this from like the first 30 seconds of conversation, they're saying. So they're wanting you to go away from that. It's, it's um, just saying, but saying it differently, they're not of your vibration. Then you have to go away from that right now because they're wanting you to raise your vibration. Uh, they're stressing this and they're saying that they're telling you this, but you're not listening. So you need to pay attention to your intuition. And you need to trust it. You need to trust your intuition and that your intuition knows what it's doing. It's your guidance system. You need to trust it, okay? Okay. So, hmm. What decision? There's a decision you're trying to make, Capricorn. Now, it's over the Justice card, right? Now, the Justice card for me as a reader is a Twin Flame card. We'll see if any other um, Twin Flame cards come out. This is also talking about um, karmic justice. 
but also listening to your intuition because it is a number 11. Now it's above the two of pentacles. So what decision? It's like you're juggling two things. What are you juggling? Okay. The Empress here, Taurus or Libra energy, or it could be the mother of your children or a mother, right, is across from the Ace of Wands. So there could be a new beginning with this Empress in love, in passion. It, this could be something you're deciding on, but let's clarify. Clarify this Justice card. Why is this Justice card here? Queen of Cups, yeah, and Three of Wands, yeah. This could be a twin at a distance with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Ugh. They're itching my nose, sorry. This is about love. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. The Queen of Cups is somebody that's intuitive, that's in touch with her intuition. This also is talking about your love, your love for this individual. You could have water in your chart. Okay, what is the decision then? Hmm, King of Wands. Yeah, I feel this is like between two people or something. I feel like you're juggling um, you may you may be like juggling with the idea it doesn't have to be a person but the king of wands is here and the king of wands can be a little um, you know player-esque let's clarify the king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius you could have this in your chart tell me about the king of wands page of Pentacles Now that's receiving a message or sending a message. Okay, there's a transformation that's trying to happen here. You may be trying to transform. You may be trying to balance out. You may be trying to listen to your intuition. And I, I felt that strongly in the beginning that spirit is trying to talk to you, but you're not paying attention. So who is this Empress to Capricorn? Let's see. The Five of Pentacles. So this is somebody who may have ghosted you. You may have ghosted them. But it's a feeling of abandonment, feeling of being left out in the cold. Wait a minute. Nine of Swords and the Judgment card. Yeah. So you're anxious about this. You're anxious. You may be kept up. You may be keeping yourself up at night because you're wanting a new beginning with this empress. This is anxiety, right? Judgment is reunion. So this could be somebody from the past. This is also the angels trying to scream at you. You've got to balance out your energy, Capricorn. And you've got to listen. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So you're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting, um, it's possible you could have a family with this individual with the Ten of Cups here. If not, you may be desiring one. But this is a new passionate beginning with this individual. Okay. How does this Empress feel about you? Huh? Two of Cups. Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Eight of Pentacles. Wanting to work on it. So whoever this is, Capricorn, they're wanting to work on a relationship with you. They want to come together with you. So if you're anxious about this and you're wondering what to do, now you know. But if this does not fit you, just chuck it. Doesn't resonate, doesn't resonate. Okay, so let's get some advice for you Capricorns. Let's 
Advice. Advice for Capricorns. <laughs> Page of Wands, which was at the bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic. Okay? Drop your guard. This is Sagittarius energy. You could have that in your chart. Yeah. Strength in the Four of Swords. Okay? They're wanting you to meditate, to go within. And I was feeling that in the beginning. You need the strength. Okay? You got to put pride and ego aside. This is also strength. Leo energy. Okay? It's like she's got her hand in the freaking lion's mouth. Who the fuck does that? Right? Talk about courage. Hair font at the bottom of the deck. This is talking about a higher spiritual calling. This is talking about um, Taurus energy, right? This is talking about commitments, marriage. So Spirit's wanting you to commit to a decision, but you do need to balance out. You do need to go within your heart space, okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonates. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Info is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Have a good one, Cappies. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.